It's time to Ask the Steelers with Tom Cathy. From Clarion University, education that works. Welcome to Ask the Steelers with Larry Foote. I'm going to high five to start this because it's good to see you. Good to see you. It's good to see you. It's been a minute, man. pretty tall. them heels. I know. I wore like, heels on the I boots? Go, well, I like an inch on the boots today. Okay. Two inches, maybe. Okay. All right. Do you mean to do like a lunch? No. Get in here? You stand All right. I'm kidding. Cool. All right. We're going to ask you five questions to get to know you a little bit better, okay? Okay. All right. First question. Who is your favorite Sesame Street character? Cookie Monster. Here's a good one. I love Cookie Monster. Are you? You need to get a bigger role. I'm tired of Elmo and Big Bird getting all the love. Cookie Monster need to be on Front Street. I agree with you. In Grover, but it's Super Grover. Super Grover. Super Grover is totally underrated, too. Well, Cookie Monster. His voice and stuff is awesome. I love Cookie Monster. Do you have a Cookie Monster impression? <laughs> no, no, no. That's not. <laughs> It's something deep like that. It's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good, though. All right, your next question. I'll, now, whenever you watch a movie, do you prefer a scary movie or something light and fluffy with a happy ending? Light and fluffy with a happy ending. I don't do the scary movies. No? Are you? I'm not afraid, but I get nightmares. And uh, the last scary movie I seen was uh, Sixth Sense with Bruce Willis. Oh, yeah. And one of the, the characters in there still chasing me from time to time. <laughs> Remember the old mother that sliced her wrist? Yes, she yes. She chases me sometimes in my dream. So yeah. I, I would prefer chick flicks. You know what you got to do? I always fast forward through the movies to see what's going to happen. Then I go back and watch it in real time. When you're just watching, it always sticks with me. But I'm not good with scary movies. No, I agree with you. I'm in that same boat. Uh, now, what is your favorite candy bar? Ooh, Butterfinger. Me too. Butterfinger. Me too. I it's love a good one. I don't know if they make the little, like the BBs, the little round guys. They make just, them like, a little bit. They make them. Yeah, those are good. Because, yeah. I mean, I love the full bars, but when you eat them, sometimes they crumble and they just get all over the place. Right. They're not good once the weather break in the summertime, they're not good. No, if you have one of those that melts in your pocket, it's right. just bad news. Terrible. Bad news. Uh, now, do you have any special hidden talents? Uh, Aside from your Cookie Monster voice. Hidden talent. I can make, if I drink like a pop or something with soda, I can uh, make my spit go to the floor, close to the floor. Are you serious? And I can bring it back up. That's an amazing talent. Now, I'm sad that we don't have pop that you can't do it for us. Right. Ah, next time, though. Uh, final question. Who is the better underdog, the Karate Kid or Rudy? Ooh. Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Now, I don't really do the Rudy thing, Notre Dame. I care less about that fighting Irish. <laughs> But uh, Karate Kid. Yeah, he's a classic too. Right. I did yeah. like the movie Rudy though, but Karate Kid, he was the true underdog. Beating Johnny. Yeah. That was a tough uh, battle for him. And he got And he went in there with the broke leg already. He did. Yeah. So. We could all learn a little bit from the Karate Kid. <laughs> That's Ask the Steelers with Larry Foote.